To God be the glory. I ain't going to be up for long like the preachers say. PP drawings, some comments you've been leaving. Beautiful. And I just had to come back and hit with you on this. PP drawings said something has been sticking in my mind ever since he said it a couple of weeks ago. He said, my church has a sanctuary, not a courtroom. Whew. Had to pause on that PP drawing. He said, our church has a sanctuary, not a courtroom. We tell the sinners to come in as they are. Man, what if every church could be like that, like PP Drawing's church? Shout out to your Pastor Leonard. Man, if we all could get like that, instead of driving people on the outside, back on the outside, what if we could draw them in on the inside, tell them to come in as they are? We have a sanctuary, not a courtroom. I don't know about nobody else, but I've been to court a few times in my life. And in the courtroom, it ain't nothing but a lot of judges. And a lot of times, them judges don't even want to hear you. You are already guilty before proven innocent. That reminds me of some of these church folks. My church is a sanctuary, not a courtroom. Too many judges, not enough Christians. It's sad, people. Sometimes you need to let people come to the church. All the time, let me say that right. All the time, you need to let people come to the church as they are. I was listening to my boy Hiding Clip video. Lady in her tripping because he got a hat on his head. This is sad, man. I guess his hat going to send him to hell. And what he have on going to send him to hell. Jesus don't care nothing about no hat. What if P.P. Drawings was a I mean, what if Hiding Clip was a lost soul going to that church? He ain't never even been to that church. Don't know nobody. What if he was crying out? What must I do to be saved? And they're going to tell him, baby, you need to tell your friend to take his hat off. What in the hell wrong with folks nowadays, man? Take your hat off. Once again, religion and tradition. It's too many courtrooms and not enough sanctuaries. PP Jones, I love that, man, and that is so true. I don't know about where you at, bro, but down here in Dallas, Texas, it's a lot of courtrooms, man. It's a lot of courtrooms. And not enough sanctuaries. We put more people in the hell by moving them out of the church according to man and woman. This is, boy, this is some of the, man, this are the times where we just need to, Lord, if we ever need a time to need you, we sure need you now. We have been needing you. And it hurts my heart when people get pushed away from church. Y'all been seeing me doing some videos of my, you know me, doing a little comedy because God blessed me with a sense of humor. God blessed me to just be myself, use my gifts in all kind of ways. He didn't tell me to just be holding and down because he know I'm not holding and down and he know I'm not religious. He say, JT, you can have fun and be a Christian all at the same time. Have fun because people can't put you in the heaven nor hell. It's sad that they think they can. And we blocking folks out of the church look like every day, man. Every day that you can't come there because you got on jeans. The Bible says you should thou shall not wear jeans to church. Man, I, I swear to I don't suppose to swear to God, but I, I'm gonna tell y'all this is true. Me and my big bro went to this church one time and they made their own sign on the back and the best of you said, Thou shall not chew gum in church. And it says, Thou shall pay thy tithes or be cursed. And it says, do not wear jeans in this church. And they probably had about 20 people in there, and I see why. Because they can't reach nobody. It's too many courtrooms and not enough sanctuaries. Big shout out to my boy Kenneth. And a major shout out to my boy Carmen White. I'm waiting on Carmen to come on, get on this page and spread the word. Because he is a dynamic man and he has a dynamic testimony. And he is straight from the streets. And he going to give it to you the only way he know how. What is that, y'all? Real. The rest are the real under God. God bless you.